All right. So we have to arrange the given sentences in a meaningful sequence. Let's read them one by one. So the first one, our knowledge about life developed over the centuries thanks to the many philosophers, physicists, chemists, and biologists who examined such complex matters according to their different points of view. Out of this long history, I wish to quote here only one date, the year 1953. So again, we are looking for reference words, words which are invoking or referring to other words mentioned in maybe other sentences, right? So we are looking for pronouns, we are looking for determiners, any words which are referring to another uh, word, right? So there's referent and referred relationship, right? So uh, when we see, uh, when we look at a determiner or a pronoun or anything that can serve as a connection uh, between uh, two sentences where in one sentence it is explicitly mentioned and then it is uh, referred to uh, in brief, uh, succinctly referred to or indirectly referred to in another sentence, we can link them together, right? So uh, in sentence two, it says out of this long history. So this, which long history? This long history. So some long history would have been explained. So where do we find that long history which is being called, which is being invoked by the second sentence, right? So what is being referred to in the second sentence? Where do we originally find it being introduced or mentioned for the first thing, right? Where is it? So it's not in sentence three. It's not in uh, sentence four, right? Where is it? Over the centuries. Over the centuries seems like a long history, right? Out of this long history, I wish to quote here only one date, the year 1953. And we know that this history is not a geological history or cosmological history. It's a, a like fairly modern history, or you could even say that probably uh, even if it is medieval or uh, even ancient history, it's talking about like maybe a span of thousand years, uh, you know, since maybe since Renaissance or maybe uh, say uh, probably since the time of the ancient Greeks, uh, won't probably be more than two to two and a half thousand years, right? Even that knowledge is not needed. What you need to understand basically is that we are talking of written human history and not the history of the earth. When out of this long history is being talked about, it's not talking of the history of life, right? On those scale, on the scale of millions of, or hundreds of millions of years. No, it's talking of the history of humanity, uh, like say, uh, particularly of written history and particularly after uh, you know, elementary philosophy and elementary science develop, right? So this long history, uh, since we are quoting 1953, we know that it is not talking of the history of life, like in sentence four, right? That is not being talked about or in sentence three. So that history of life, which began, uh, say, two billion years ago or something like that is not being talked about, right? What is being talked about is uh, the, you know, uh, centuries on a scale of centuries. So hundreds or a few thousand years of human uh, modern, uh, uh, say when civilization developed as such, right? Uh, after writing came into being and all of that. So I hope that is clear that the history that is being talked about is not the history of life, right? Which works on geological timescales, but uh, the history of our knowledge about life, uh, history of science, so to speak, right? History of the science of life, which is a uh, few centuries to maybe a couple millennia old as a field of study. So two is directly invoking one. So two will follow one. Two will immediately follow one. Out of this long history, the centuries long history, I want to quote one date, 1953. That's what the author is saying. So two follows one, right? Now in that year, again, we have another determiner that is pointing towards something, right? So in two, we had this, and this was pointing at over the centuries in the previous sentence. Right, the period of history of science, history of study of the science of life. Now, in option th uh, in sentence number three, right? In sentence number three, the word is that again. It is pointing at something in that year. Which year? So we look for year. We see that there are uh, two years in this sentence, two specific years. One is within the sentence itself, and it's coming after it. So obviously, it cannot be 1924. So that year can only refer to the specific year, which is 1953. So three will follow two. So three, the that in three is invoking 1953. So one, two, three, right? Let's look at the fourth sentence now. 
from a mixture of five gases methane ammonia carbon dioxide hydrogen and water vapor and an electric discharge as the source of energy complex molecules were produced including amino acids right now this is giving a detailed explanation a detailed and fairly scientific explanation an elaborate explanation right uh, uh, with a fair degree of specificity of components right it is properly specifying all the components and the process that is happening so it's delving uh, in a fair bit of depth as to how things happen right so uh, from a mixture of five gases right so this explanation will follow its introduction so is there anything what does it seem seem like it seems like a science lab right in very basic terms it seems like a, a chemistry experiment right so this experiment must be introduced before it is elaborated in such detail before it is laid out in such detail right it must be introduced somewhere and where is it introduced in sentence 3 sentence 3 says in that year miller and yuri carried out their famous experiment about the primordial universal soup right whose foundations had already been okay that part is not very important has been expanded by russian chemist alexander oparin so oparin uh, did some of the basic work first and then miller and yuri did their more famous work built upon that right uh, yeah so that is there now miller and yuri's experiment is introduced in sentence 3 and is explained in detail in sentence 4 so four widens uh, four elaborates upon what three introduces so four will immediately follow three so fairly easy questions right one two three four is the correct sequence Gosh.